Hi, I'm Elka. I mentor and teach creative entrepreneurs the profitable action steps for building a successful online business on Zazzle. Today's topic is how to track your Zazzle referrals using the tracking code properly. The tracking code is something that you can add to the end of any Zazzle URL link so that you can determine where your referral came from. What you need to do is use the Zazzle link using the Zazzle link builder plus this particular code which is ampersand TC equals and then you can add any number of letters and numbers with no spaces. Before I show you examples on Zazzle, I want to explain my logic behind how I use my tracking code. Obviously, if you're getting a referral, it might come from anywhere. So once you see it in your referrals history, you want to make sure that you know what happened in order to get you that referral. And it's a good idea to take advantage of the fact that you can put any number or letter without spaces in this tracking code field. I like to put in where I'm putting the, the actual link, such as Pinterest, what it is in the in in this case, because it's Pinterest pin, I'm putting it on a holiday photo board and then the date, in this case November, and the year 2017. This will all make more sense once I start showing you some examples. So here I am on Zazzle in my account. I've logged into Zazzle and I've also logged into Pinterest. And what I'm going to show you is how it all works when you pin something from Zazzle to Pinterest. It's quite simple once you're logged into both your Zazzle site and Pinterest. All you have to do is be on the item that you want to pin, click the little button here down below where it says share this for Pinterest, and when you do that this little window comes up and you just have to choose the board that you want to save it to. And now here on Pinterest in my holiday photo card board this item that I just pinned shows up. However, at this moment, it only has the link back to Zazzle with my referral code, which is the associate code for my Zazzle account. The last thing you need to do is add the tracking code. So hover over the image, go to the little pencil. This will come up and it says edit this pin. Go down to where the website code is, go to the end of all the code, and you'll see here this is the referral number which is my Zazzle associate number. Now what you have to do is add the tracking code. And I usually have this on a clipboard or somewhere where I can copy it and then paste it. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I've added to the back here, this is the code. This is my referral code. I'll just go through here. And so to the very end of whatever Zazzle adds and auto fills for you, you go to the end until the point where my cursor is, and that's the end of my RF or referral code. And then you need to add ampersand TC equals, and then in my case, I'm saying Pinterest holiday photo, which tells me it's my board that has the holiday photo cards. November is when I'm pinning this, and 2017. Then I say save. And that is how you add your tracking code to anything that you pin to Pinterest. You can also do this with a collection or anything else. Let's pick out a collection that I've got right here that I've already done. And if I go to the back here and I say, uh, see what it is, and, it's, and I've got ampersand TC equals Pinterest. And in this case, I, didn't, I wasn't as specific, which is going to not help me too much in the future, but I posted this November 2016. What if you would like to do this manually and add it to your website? Then what you need to do is click on this little link down here and that brings up what is called the Zazzle Link Builder. The first thing on the left is the actual link. And what you would do is you would copy this code. I've just put it here in my email program just to show you. So that's the code that Zazzle generated for you. It not only has the link to the product, but it has the proper referral code embedded into it. So now all you need to do is add your tracking code information. This is my tracking code information for that particular item. And instead of Pinterest, because it's going to go on my website, I'm going to say 
blog and then I'm going to keep the rest because I'm going to generate a blog post that is all about holiday photo cards. That gives you an example of how versatile this tracking code uh, option is and you need to use it to your advantage. Set up your own code and then when someone buys something and you have a referral code attached to it, you'll get this tracking code you can follow and understand a little bit about how that person came to buy something of yours. So here are a few of my referrals that I've made and I wanted to show you these in particular because everyone learns from their own mistakes and I certainly have learned from my own mistakes because here the four products that are listed that I made referrals on they show here as to what they are and also it gives you whether it's my product or another person's product but then underneath this part here where it says TC that's what you're interested in looking at because you have to see where you actually made that referral from so in this case I was really clever and I said oh Pinterest and then down here this is one of my websites that I have information and products on and there's another Pinterest on the third row but it it was only once I put in more information, this is my blog, with the date that I actually understood how useful and powerful this can be because from Pinterest all I know is that Pinterest works but I could have easily put in more information in terms of what I've just told you, the date, the where, what board I pinned it to, etc. And same with my website that ex an external website I have no clue they just landed on the page somewhere but I'm not sure what it was that finally convinced them to buy so it's really important to use the tracking code but it's also important to be effective in your use of the tracking code. Think about what you would need to understand if someone bought a product from you and you actually pinned, posted, put it on your site two, three years ago and now they're finally generating that sale for you. If you don't have that information in terms of all the specifics like I mentioned then you will not be in a position to get any information out of your referral that you actually made except for that yep it came from my external website or yep it came from Pinterest whereas the cat notebook that I sold and made a referral on then that definitely that tracking code helps me it means that many people went to my blog that was posted on March 29th 2017 and depending on when I made the referral sale compared to when I posted the the item on my website for example I can see whether it's just effective right now or it's effective two years from now so it's really powerful once you start to use the tracking code properly so let's have another look at this and recap I want you to use the tracking code properly and effectively so add it to the end of your Zazzle URL with your associate code already in the URL and then you want to say ampersand TC equals and use any number or letter with no spaces to give you an indication of where you have this customer coming from once you receive a referral. Don't forget to put things like where you're putting that link, what you're putting that link on, whether it's like in a blog post specifically on a particular type of topic, the date in terms of maybe the month or the year or even the day of the, uh, the day of the month you can be that specific you just have to create your own codes that work for you so thank you so much for watching this has been another episode of Elka TV I'm Elka Clark and we'll see you next time